Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the ANET ET4X. Today, I've got a little bit of a stress test for it, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so we are going to print with the SD card. Remember, when you put the SD card in, you do it with the shiny part up. Let's hit print, and then we are going to print this little fish fossil. I love this as a test because if it prints well, it's able to flex in every direction as soon as you're done. So, let's get cracking. Alright friends, this is the little flexible fish. This is created by Muzz64 or Murray Clark on Thingiverse. And I'm going to print it with my 0.3 millimeter layers. I'm going to go at the speed of 50, which is a little slower than normal. And I'm using 205 and 60 for this print. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I've printed it both ways. And I, and I believe I'm going to try it on this axis first using the ET4X. Real quickly, I'm going to give you the preview mode, and this is what's kind of sweet. If we slide on down to that first layer, you can see those gaps that are made so that when we're finished, this can all bend. Alrighty, friends, let's slide this forward now that it's complete. Remove it from the bed. Now, the neat thing about this design is that there are gaps so that if it prints perfectly, it bends in every direction. Now, I've got a tiny bit of a shift here where you can see there's more gap on that side than this side, and I don't want to break it, so I'm actually going to use a little X-Acto knife to try and pop those out real quick. And then I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like when it's all completely foldable. Alrighty, friends. So here is our fish. Totally flexible, just like he was supposed to be. Uh, he was so close uh, to right. I mean, there were gaps all the way through there. What I had to do was I took this knife and I just pressed in here. And I was able to get that to pop on all of those. I did do it on both sides. 
Um, what I think it is, is I might have had it a little too close to the bed because I print on the glass and that created a little extra smush that made them come together. And I think that's probably what caused it because it was so close to perfect. Alrighty friends, we're gonna call that a wrap on stress test one with the ET4X from Anet. Uh, friends, I'm gonna call it success. Yes, I did have to pry them apart, but that is a pretty darn nice print. And it's not an easy thing for a printer to print with these gaps and then have it be flexible when it's finished. Friends, if you found the video useful, make sure you give it a like. If you've got any questions or comments or suggestions, add them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.